Okay, so I want to show you today how to create a table in Excel. And these tables are really nice because what it does is it really helps me get my personal monthly expenses in order. And I can actually total them. So here's the amount of each one. And then towards the end, it automatically will total it for me. So it's a real nice way to get all of your finances in order. So let me show you how it is I did that. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna start a new Excel document. And here we go. Also, I'm going to increase the size so it's a little bit easier for y'all to see. Perfect. I'm gonna start it here. In the first column, I want it to say fixed or variable. So does that mean that my prices stay the same or do they change? Then I want the description. What is it? Okay, then I need the amount, how much is that bill, and then the date of the month, and then some notes. That way I know, okay, if I have something to say, any comments, I can easily write them there. So first one I'm going to do is fixed. And it's going to be, I'm gonna start with Spotify, okay, because we need some music. Now Spotify is right now is costing me $16.08, because I am on the family subscription and that is due on the 26th of each month and that is coming out of my credit card let me go ahead and show you how to create a table so I'm going to highlight these two rows I'm gonna go up to insert and I'm gonna click on table now this dialog box is going to pop up and it's gonna ask where is the data for your table is it between B6 and F7 it is here's B6 and then here is F7 okay and it asks okay does my table have a header yes it does here's my header so I'm gonna press okay so here is the table now you can also come up here and change the style which I'm not fond of this style so I'm gonna go to the style that I particularly enjoy and it is this one right here I think it's real nice and easy to see so I'm going to add a few more. So now let's see. I'm going to click on the table. I'm going to come up and run up here to table. If you notice right here, it has some check off boxes. I'm going to click on total row. Okay. Then when you click on this, it gives you a drop down menu. Now there's no numbers in here, so I'm going to click none. But right here, here's the amount. I really want to know how much all of these three together is. So I'm going to click on sum. Also, I'm going to click on D and I'm going to put, okay, this is money. So I want to change this format to money. So for these three subscriptions, I am paying $61.48 every single month. So that's a really nice way of being able to add up all my finances for every single month. Now, real quick, let me show you. Wherever you want to insert another row, I'm gonna come up to Home, if you're not on Home already, and you're gonna click on Insert. Now, if you do the drop down, you can choose if you wanna insert, insert a table row above or below, if you wanna insert a com column to the left or a column to the right. I just wanna do below. All I have to do is click, all right, insert a table row below, okay? And I can continue inserting them until I have as many as I need. Okay. Also, another thing I can do, I can click on this right here and I can bring my table out as far as I'd like it to go. So say I want to go here out more, it'll create two more columns for me. Say I want to go a few more rows down, it'll create more rows down. Now say I want to get rid of these, I can also go up to table and I can remove the filter buttons if I'm not able to read what each one of these says. However, I can add them back if I need to. I can take away the total rows and all of that right here underneath table. Okay, and then I can also return back to the original place I was at. One last thing before we end this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a title for your table. Okay, so I'm going, this is the title here. I wanna call this monthly, excuse me, personal monthly expenses. I'm going to highlight all the way across right here. So again, under home and this button right here, if I click it, it'll say merge and center. 
merge across, merge cells, unmerge cells. I want to merge and center. So there it merged all these cells together and it centered my text. Now I can bold it and I can increase the size telling me, okay, these are my personal monthly expenses. I can create as many tables as I would like. If you have shared expenses, yearly expenses, or whatever tables you need to create, you can continue doing this forward. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Y'all have a wonderful week.